hey girl hey and hey boy hey what just when you start to film just, just when you're like hi welcome to my channel do -do 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 -do, do -do -do -do. i'm actually on my laptop but i'm just about to finish i'm canceling i've actually typed the word cancel i am canceling some meetings how have you been i hope you've been well thank you so much let me just start by saying this to everyone who's commented on my last vlog it contained the emirates giveaway with the hampers and the goodies and i didn't it was intentional i didn't put the name giveaway on the title of the video because i feel like those who watch my channel will watch my channel and those who don't will just hop on to watch just to get the giveaway so that's how i'm going to be doing these things there's probably a giveaway in this video when i start to film just when i start anyway there's probably going to be yeah i'm on my laptop um but anyway, what was I saying? There's probably going to be a giveaway in this. Jesus! Okay, I've muted. <laughs> There's probably going to be a giveaway in this video as well. So stay tuned till then. You never know. Um, it's a very sunny day now that it's 4.36. But the whole day, like better part of the day from like sun up till about 3 o'clock, it was cold hence the sweater and of course the head scarf because i'm at home and i'm not going anywhere and haven't gone anywhere in days so that's why i look like this but i do have my hair out i'll show you tomorrow tomorrow i'm going somewhere okay it's gonna show anyway <laughs> so tomorrow 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 i'm getting a bit glammed up and you know cooking some pilau and taking over to my friend's place we'll social distance calm down breathe uh yeah so tomorrow and i'll be trying on a new foundation tomorrow by dior love dior uh yeah but for now i'm just finishing something some work stuff clearly and the emails just keep coming in only when i'm filming hello so I'm just finishing that up then I want to share with you guys a few things I have here I don't know if you can see but there's like a kyondo and a couple of couple other things uh, yes so let me just do that real quick and then I'll be with you okay good so this should be my um, what you call it thumbnail so this beautiful kyondo woo, i don't know why i love kyondo so this reminds me of like my grandma and like ushago anyway this beautiful kyondo was sent to me by the guys at kenya originals so in my last video i was making a gnt and to all those who said it looked like it slapped it did slap okay it was really nice and tasty and refreshing just like gin is but yeah they saw that video and i also i think did an insta story where i was using the same tonics and so they sent me they sent me a case that's really nice of them thank you so much they reached out to me and i was more than happy because i like this i like this a lot so they're called kenyan originals what did i say did i say kenyan organics kenyan kenyan originals they're on um, Instagram Facebook I'm going to leave a link down below so you can just click and interact with them so staying at home drinking has never been so responsible I agree dear Nelly in this strange and uncertain time we feel it is important for everyone to play their part and spread as much positivity positivity as possible our way of delivering all our KO love to you is through giving you what we know best our drinks Included in this KO care package are the most recent batches of our locally made ciders and tonics to add some flavor and fun to your self-isolation. We hope this can help you stay positive and make the most of this tough period and would love to hear any feedback you have. Stay at home and stay safe. With love from the KO team. Amazing. So, ooh, nice bubble wrap. And this is the delivery note and in here there's a KO t-shirt Kenyan originals that's really cool KO at the back and then there's a ah oh, there's like a sun hat 
right there. And then, oh, these just have the, these just have the tonics and the ciders. So I know they have a rose and cucumber tonic, which I love. And they have the original, the classic tonic. And they have the light tonic. Um, and then they have the chili and turmeric. And then for their ciders, they have pineapple and mint. I haven't tried any of their ciders. They have lime and ginger and they have passion fruit and lime mango and ginger wow okay i see you can tonics oh and a little coaster that's really cute okay yo and of course the basket but this so in here we have so my favorite tonic from these guys is the one i used in the last video which is the rose and cucumber and yes for sure they've sent me another rose and cucumber yay this was my favorite and then there's a ginger cider looks like that so they also have cans as well and there's a lime and ginger cider fruit cider with a kenyan kick eight percent alcohol and there's the tonic just the classic one, classic light. And there's also this chili and turmeric. Okay, so this chili and turmeric is an acquired taste. I love the zingness of the turmeric with gin because gin is so smooth and so flat. Like it doesn't taste like anything. So if you add this, it just kind of spices it up. I love that. And the last tonic is passion fruit and lime. So I have all the three tonics, passion fruit and lime, lime and ginger, and ginger cider ooh, ooh. i'm carrying this to my friend's place tomorrow yes yes okay thank you so much kenyan originals next another lovely care package so next is let me just try and fix this because i kind of squished it what is happening a little something something from a company called caribou with a q um they sent me a lovely this was supposed to be a mother's day gift but i got it after i had already filmed my last vlog so i'm just gonna share it with you i haven't opened it yet it comes wrapped up just like that i will slide this off because i would like to gift someone this wallet oh I'm trying. I want to take it off without damaging it. Cause ah, there we go. I'm bend it a little bit. There we go. Oh my god! And it's engraved with my name, Geek on Fashion. Oh, that! Thank you so much. Ah, super mom. Oh my! Can you guys see this? oh i was planning to give this away but i can't because it's been personalized oh my god caribou kenya it's not just a wallet it's a souvenir i agree so it has let me just show you it has three pockets one two three then it has one there and it has one that has a oh, i love the smell of leather it has another one in there oh my goodness she's a beaut she is truly beautiful oh my god thank you so much karibu they're called karibu kenya also gonna leave a link down below for this guys wow last but not least this i bought myself okay but it was all inspired by something i was given and to be honest i feel and to be honest i'm gonna say this the more you give the more you receive there's a lot of things i give there's a lot of things i do that i don't really have to film or talk about and i just thank god because i feel like it just comes back to me tenfold the hand that gives it's open to receive anyway so this little cutie let's see this little cutie is a hand cream that was 
sent to me as a surprise present i just had the doorbell and it's like there's something for you and it's the in the stars sheer butter hand cream by bath and body works my beautiful friend who sent me this she told me it's to her it smells like baccarat rouge yeah she told me it smells like baccarat rouge to her to me it doesn't smell like baccarat rouge exactly but there's a certain richness there's a certain denseness that i really enjoy it's sweet but at the same time it just has like some sharp notes of something i don't know what they've put in here but um i like it and the more i wear it i get someone is also hooked on this okay there's someone who's hooked on this as well there's someone who's hooked on this and it's just yeah she is something else and she smells so beautiful that every time so when i like do the dishes i like to take this and just rub on my hands because i don't want them to get ashy and every time i wear them and let's just say i'm not the only one who likes this okay this, this is a fan favorite Ew. <laughs> anyway this smells gorgeous and yeah if you wear this someone will appreciate somebody so i'm just rambling so um i was scrolling instagram and i saw a sponsored post by this company they're called bath and body works of kenya okay and because literally we are being watched by some super power the ad was for in the stars by bath and body works and i was like stop how would you know that i like this thing so much well because we're being spied on but um they had a set so they had a, a mist a body mist a shower gel and a hand cream body mist is a pass i don't body mist but i wanted the body cream which i got and i wanted the shower gel which i got Oop, there it is so now i have the whole gang i'm so excited so the shower gel it's sealed so i don't know if this smells exactly like the hand cream but let's see this one <sighs> yes it smells like a really uh, it smells like a dessert from a really posh restaurant yeah this is a dessert from like a really fancy schmancy restaurant oh yes 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 this is my favorite this is my favorite thing ever so for those of you who've mentioned that you don't want to use the expensive perfumes because i don't know you're waiting for outside to open uh i don't agree with that however you can buy these they are much cheaper and you still smell like a snack this the both of this was 1500 each so 3000 bob plus delivery 300 the name was the name of the lady is irene she was really sweet to me she made it happen because i called her like at four and she was like i'm gonna get you boo i'm gonna get you a rider deliver to your place say less anyway that was it so uh i'm sweating and i want to order takeout is it too late it's 4 55. let's see if jumia will will be able to sort a sister out i feel like spicy chicken i know i know i'm going through a phase i'm into spicy chicken don't judge me oh they're okay they're open let's see if my order will go through Do you guys get a one pizza or a two pizza if you're eating by yourself? Because my son, not a fa fan of fast food. He doesn't like burgers or chicken or chips. My nanny also, she's like, he's in his snacks. Mama Calvin. He's in his snacks. Okay. Even she calls chapati snacks. She's like, he's in his snacks. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm the only one who eats or enjoys fast food. So, my order is being processed. Oh my god it's four minutes to five guys and i've just ordered chicken okay so let me pack all this sh 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 
stuff up. <laughs> Let me pack all this stuff up. And then I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, cool beans. Sorry to scare you. Actually, I think I should take this off now. It's pretty much dry. Um, woke up at eight o'clock this morning. I feel good. Woke up at eight o'clock this morning. I masked. Um, I did hair that's going to Mombasa, and then made breakfast. And now I am watching episode three of Succession. So yesterday night, I cracked open one of the tonics, which is my favorite one, the red one, the rose and cucumber. I cracked that open, poured myself a GNT. I watched a show called My Masi and Ike. Uh, Masi won the Big Brother Nigeria um, competition with her and she was dating this guy while in the house called Ike I roll but it was it was it's under it's under in show max it's under the context of guilty pleasure and I get it because I watched four episodes are they four or three four episodes back to back but I was like forwarding some places and I just couldn't stop watching I just couldn't stop watching I'm like this is a mess but I'm watching so I'm a fan of reality TV so that was interesting to watch um, <clears throat> her body is sick hey that massive babe small waist white hips yes she has a she's she, she her shape is gorgeous uh, AK I'm not a fan uh, he wants to be sponsored by women what anyway uh, <laughs> anyway so after that i started watching succession i watched two episodes last night so i'm watching episode three now it's really good you guys if you haven't watched succession get on it e there are two seasons already on show max so please get just jump onto it this is just drama and it's just it's good tv i love it so yeah that's what i'm doing this morning as i have breakfast and then uh after i finish one episode it's now 9 39 after i finish that episode this episode i will shower and get dressed um i told you yesterday i got the dior foundation the dior did i got the dior star this i have this one dior i have dior skin star i think but i got another dior foundation that i want us to you know try together so yeah let me have breakfast and then i'll talk to you once i'm showered Yes, yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. I was listening to some hardcore rap music. Am I zoomed in? No, I'm not. Am I zoomed in? I, I was a little bit. So, I have showered. I have moved my headscarf. My hair, which is awake, by the way, sewn behind my hairline. I have put in one 
plait just like that and i'm about to do a little bit of a face beat mm, i will show you my outfit as soon as i am done uh right now i have nothing on my face apart from moisturizer primer the usual face stuff and today i'm gonna do my eyebrows i haven't done my eyebrows in ages i'm gonna do my browsies if i can just find my brow pencil oh here it is so i use the mac brow liner crayon that's the one i have it's called velvex tone and i just feel in like this going up and i only do like my front part because i feel like the rest of my brows are like full enough but at the front it's like i'm balding so that's just where i like to feel and just clean under your brows like so and then a little bit at the top like so can you see what i'm doing okay my makeup is usually very simple just accentuate what i feel are my best features and just good dewy skin then i'll take another brush to just blend it all in because you don't want that line you remember when babes on youtube used to do um makeup videos and then they would leave this like this and you'd be like oh that's what we're doing okay so next i've already primed my skin we apply foundation now let's talk about the foundation real quick so i got the dior there we go the dior skin forever this is the new one the old one which you can see has clearly been used is the dior skin star so there's the star and there's the forever now what's the difference one the color the shade as you can see so this one is a little bit more actually it's like one shade lighter than me actually probably even two shades lighter than me this is the number 50 yes this is the dior skin star number 50 i got this duty free last year when i was traveling huh. we look back with so much nostalgia anyway so i got this from the airport duty free and uh they didn't have any other shade darker than this i do believe that there are shades darker than 50 just that at the dior stand there was none so i just took this one because i was desperate to try the dior foundation and there was no dior available in kenya at the moment so i used this obviously i've used it enough well now i've shaken it up but it's used slightly well a lot um and whenever i apply this i used to wear my mac concealer in the shade nw45 which is darker so i'll just mix the two and it will just be beautiful this foundation is gorgeous it is long wearing it blends easily um to me this one is thicker than this one but on the dior site they say forever is supposed to be the thicker one and star is supposed to be like the sheer one to me it's the opposite but i guess it depends with your skin so anyway i love this foundation a little bit goes a long way um this one which is new and i must confess that i have i have tried a little bit of this and it's so this one which is the new one is called forever if you will just focus i got this from two rivers linton linton's store and this is the perfect shade for me this is the shade 7070 this is perfect for me um if you're my skin shade and undertone this would work because some of the mac some of the other foundations that i wear which are also beautiful on my skin are mac match master 9 um ysl b90 um uh Giorgio Armani Lumina Silk 11.5 um I'm trying to think of other shades that are really available oh Lancome Tint Idol and um, the shade Mocha number 15 so if you fall anywhere near there then in the 70 in Dior skin forever will work so they say shake well that's what we're gonna do and 
um i couldn't find my foundation brush so i'm going to use this one this is just a generic foundation brush it's a flat brush i don't like using flat brushes to apply my foundation where the hell is my foundation brush anyway i don't like using flat brushes but that's what we have that's what i'm going to use anyway so i've done two pumps and i put it at the back of my hand you will kind of warm it i have a mirror in front of me and then we just get on with it gonna take about half it looks very red but it'll go away I'm going to add just a little bit for my forehead and for just like half a pump for my forehead and for anywhere else that I feel needs a little bit more coverage. When I'm using a flat brush, I like to go in one direction. So I don't do like this. I either go down. So I'm going up, down, up, down, up, down. For me, I feel like that blends easily and seamlessly and helps the hairs on my face because we all have hairs on our face unless you like wax your face just lay in one direction so just going down i already feel like this is more than enough and it dries really quickly this foundation is matte it dries really quickly so i feel like you have to work really fast Mm hmm around my mouth i think i'm okay uh. and there we go now when i do my foundation i feel like my face becomes flat it lacks any dimension whatsoever and so what I will try to do is add back some of my dimension, like my cheekbones. I will do that by taking, there's a palette here. I think I've shown you this before, the Goddess, Cara Beauty Bronzed Goddess. And I take an angle brush and I take the shade Coffee. There. And I just dab on Coffee. Blow. Hmm. Hmm. next blushy blush blush i will use this one which is the number 71 from chanel it comes with a little brush could use it or just use something else so i just dab in upward strokes light upward strokes and that was it now i've done all this and i've just remembered i didn't set set my under eye so i'm gonna do that just now preferably you should do the setting of the under eye before you do the other two steps I've just done. Anyway, so take a brush. I'm using the Forever Makeup Forever Professional High Definition Pressed Powder. And I was like, oh, ha 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 ha. I am very lightly pressing it down. Donezo. I will not do anything to my lashes because I am wearing um falsies Many good i'm wearing falsies what do you call them not falsies um false lashes yeah lash extensions and so i will not be wearing any lashes but i will be wearing some lipstick i feel like this is so plain jane i don't want to be plain jane just putting everything back Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should wear this. This is the Joanna K Queen. It's a really beautiful matte. 
Ooh, or should I look for something darker? I think there's something darker. I didn't find anything darker, so I'll just use this one. This is Queen by John K Cosmetics. And I'll line... I'll line my lips with Night Moth. Lip liner from MAC. That is gorgeous! There's nothing worse. There's nothing worse than lipstick on your teeth. It's like walking around with tissue paper on your heel, heel of your shoes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to flat iron my, my hair. Actually, not flat iron. I want to add some curls. Let's just see, first of all, how these look like. This is not bad. So what I'm going to do is just maybe lay my baby hairs because right now they're all over the place and my wig starts here i don't know if i should remove it and show you because there my wig starts there and my hair is here so there we go the wig i'm wearing is the oh there we go it's the 18 inch yaki wig from geek hair kenya it's very soft very 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 soft and it feels and looks like natural low dried hair so it's the yaki texture so let me lay my baby hairs and then i'll be right with you and here we are my hair uh, i have decided to flat iron it so i added just a couple of waves and there we go it looks really nice and voluminous um also laid my baby hairs because they were all over the place and then i'm wearing stud earrings and two necklaces a gold one and a sterling silver one because why not i mix my metals i really don't care for it my sweater is from mr price very old one of my faves it's nude my shorts are from woolworths um are they recent? Yeah, I got them in February. My shoes are from Zara, and you can see there's a nude and black pattern going on. My bag, this little cutie. Most of you commented on this uh, the day I did my video, uh, Spend a Quarantine Day With Me. This bag was a gift. I will leave a link down below. It is a Made in Kenya brand. Let me see if I can find the logo. There it is, a little Ellie. It's a Made in Kenya brand, and I'll share that with you. It's... um pure leather i will just leave a link down below but i love it i love it so much this is cow hide and it's just it's gorgeous and it works with my outfit so let me head out it is 12 15 i should be back before curfew love and light thank you so much for indulging me peace